I am glad you're here. In today's video, I am gonna bake some brownies. I haven't done that in a little while, but I'm gonna use the same recipe that I used years ago before I was even married. So uh, that's a recipe that I'm gonna be using and hopefully they're gonna turn out good. But I have my ingredients all measured out as you can see. So it should be fairly simple here. Today I'm gonna be a grown-up and wear my apron. I usually don't do that and I should do that more often. So um, anyways, we're gonna see if we can get some brownies baked and I also have to bake some chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies this week yet, but we'll see if I get around to doing that yet today. So anyways, let's get to making brownies. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients first, which it's a fourth teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one and a fourth cup of flour, and one and a half cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I did do already less than the recipe calls for so hopefully they, they're still going to turn out good and three-fourths of a cup of cocoa powder okay i'm just going to mix that in a little bit okay two teaspoons of vanilla i don't measure three eggs and one cup of butter, melted. So what I'm gonna try is just put them straight into the muffin tin, muffin pan, whatever. Um, instead of doing the papers because I would like little brownie bites so I'm gonna do two first and see how they turn out Okay. 
Okay, while I wait for the test brownies, because I do two first and test and see if they look the way I want them to, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. So, I cannot believe that it is almost Christmas, but it is, and I'm very happy about it. But yeah, time just goes by very fast. And we have had amazing weather. It is plus four today. And it is almost end of November. It is unbelievable, but I like it. I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, it is almost Christmas and I am very excited. And I've gotten a question before if we're going to Mexico or not. Uh, at the moment, we're undecided yet if we're gonna go for Christmas or not. If not for Christmas, then probably after Christmas, but we will probably most likely go to Mexico this winter yet. Thinking about Christmas, we haven't done any Christmas shopping yet and me and Johnny we need to come up with some Christmas traditions that we do since we usually go to Mexico since we usually go to Mexico for Christmas I feel like we don't really have Christmas traditions except for going to Mexico <laughs> And I'm not sure if we're gonna get Jomias anything for Christmas. He is very little. He's not gonna remember, but we're probably gonna get him a little bit something. And as far as me and Johnny go goes, since we've been married, we have not given each other a Christmas present. If we do give each other presents, that's usually for a birthday. Uh, so I guess we don't have a lot of um, Christmas shopping to do. But what we do sometimes is with the family, we do gift, gift exchanges and that is always a lot of fun. But I'm not sure if we're going to do that this year. And talking about Christmas, wait, I'll check on my brownies first. Looking good so far. Talking about Christmas, I got a very fun thing in the mail. One idea, if you have want someone in your life that likes birds, I have the perfect idea for you. When we, we pet, I hope I say that correct, they wanted to send me the, a bird feeder. I was very excited. If you know me, you know that I really like birds. I always have a bird bath right in front of my window where I do dishes and I enjoy it so much. The other day, I had a blue jay right there and I wish so bad that I had it on camera. It was so, so pretty. And yeah, recently, this last year especially, I've noticed different birds coming to my bird bath. I think it takes a while till they know that it's there. But this bird feeder is on another level. It has a camera and I can see it from my phone. I can see the birds. I'm gonna show you a little bit, but yeah, that is so cool. I have not seen any birds yet because I just set it up today. I just put the feed in today. And yeah, so I'm very excited to see some birds, hopefully. Um, I just set it up with the strap. You, have, you can set it up in three different, different ways with a pole or you can screw it into a fence or a house or something. Or you can use a strap and strap it around a tree and that's what I've done. And the camera charges from a solar panel so you don't have to plug it in. It just needs to connect to Wi-Fi, that's one thing. Uh, so it would have to be somewhere close, closer to Wi-Fi. But I enjoy it, I have it right outside my window here. So I can see it from inside as well. And I can also see it from my phone, obviously. And you can have it notify you when there's birds, when there's activity going on. And I'm very excited. So if I do catch any birds, I will definitely insert the footage before I upload the video, but I am very excited for it. So I have a discount code for you. I will put it in the description box, also on the screen here. Um, check it out, it is so cool. Very, very cool, and I'm very excited. And especially for next summer, there's not many birds in the winter, but next summer, it's gonna be amazing. And yeah, and I'd also, also, it kind of acts as a security camera as well because right now the way I have set it up as you can see like it has it is a very wide lens so you can see a lot of things going on right so I'm very excited for that as well so yeah anyways 
I'm gonna check on my brownies. Oh, that looks good. Yep. Maybe you can see that's where the bird feeder is. That's with my son. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much, Wee Pet. I hope I say that correct. Thank you for sending that. I absolutely love it and I'm excited for next summer. He's looking all funny at me and he's like, what are you doing? What did mommy? <laughs> he's looking at me and he looks at the phone again and kind of wondering what in the world I'm doing, but. That looks good, doesn't it? I could put a little bit more in, but they are so sweet. I think that's perfect that they're a little bit smaller. And I have a little bit of dough on my hand. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit before I take them out. My brownies are almost done and I have everything ready for my chocolate chip cookies that I want to make. So I'm going to mix one egg, half cup of white sugar, and half cup of brown sugar. I'm going to mix that first with one cup of soft butter. I feel like getting out my big mixer because this, these are very small recipes. I could have probably softened the butter a little bit more, but I think that will work. Hopefully. Okay, um, this is half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda and two and a fourth cup of flour. Half a cup of chocolate chip. I'm still baking. I have my last cookies on here that need to be baked yet. And as you can tell, it's already getting dark. And this time of the year, I love it. I absolutely love it. But the days are so short, like you don't get anything done, feels like, almost. But yeah, I was in the city uh, yesterday and it's just really pretty to go around in the stores this time of the year. It just gets you in a Christmas spirit. The Christmas music is playing, all the Christmas decorations. I love going to look at, going around and looking at the Christmas decorations even though I'm not buying anything this year, but I just really enjoy going and looking at it. It's so pretty, really, really pretty. <laughs> and um, I haven't done any decorating yet this year, so normally by this time of the year, I would have done some Christmas decorations already, but uh, oh, you know what? I did hang the wreath. Um, the winter wreath on the door. So if that counts, then I did something. <laughs> but that's all good. We'll get to it. But yeah, I'm gonna check on my cookies and see if they're done. Anyways, I will catch you some other time. It is a new day here and I'm working all kinds of things. I don't know if I mentioned that I have kind of a busy week, but I made some soup 
and I'm gonna do another soup here this afternoon yet and I also want to make some pizza I want to make the crust I'm not gonna make finish the pizzas but I want to make the crust and bake it and so that it is ready to use later but yeah just busy with all kinds of things oh and I'm also working on I believe it's called panna cotta. I'm also working on a dessert like that and as you saw I just finished up a dessert that is a peanut butter dessert that I just finished so that is in the freezer now ready to go so yeah I'm just busy in the kitchen I guess he enjoys sitting there and watching me yeah <laughs> okay I feel like the video has been kind of all over the place but today I talked to you a little bit earlier but I haven't really done any filming but I did make the little dessert cups uh, the panna cotta and they are just so cute <laughs> like, aren't they just adorable later on I will put a raspberry on top and I should have bought mint leaves and put a leaf in there as well but I did I did forget that so um, I also cooked two types of soup. I did vegetable soup and also Toscana soup. So that is ready. And I also made the peanut butter dessert pie as you saw. And I also prepped the jalapeno poppers for tonight for supper. And I have the dough right there. For pizza, I want to make the pizza crust. I think I told you that earlier as well. So I still have to do that. So, but I'm gonna gonna admit I'm kind of tired by now. But I do want to prep the crust and then I'm officially finished for today. But yeah, I'm very excited for the videos coming up. So stay tuned. And it's probably not gonna be in the kitchen. So. We're gonna change it up a little bit <laughs> for a few weeks, but yeah, I'm very excited. So uh, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching again. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. It's just a little bit of a crazy week, but that is okay. I d just really wanted a video out and also, yeah, just, just wanted to talk to you a little bit. So yeah, thank you for being here and thank you for watching and I'll see you next week, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.